Um, I'm just posting this tutorial right now actually to show you how to deal with uh, some problem areas when it comes to tracking such as uh, these two trackers on the pillar because as we can see if we watch the entire shot here they go off frame that one kind of yeah they go off frame there this one kind of is almost gone before it goes off frame but it pretty much goes off frame so it's going to give you some issues this is a really tricky one um, so I'm just going to show you a thing called uh, loop out and uh, it'll help you continue this track all right let's get on to it so I am going to do a track and what I'm going to do is go to animation track motion I'm going to zoom in a little because I can't see and I'm going to drag, grab my tracker I'm going to put it over this guy I'm going to grab my search region nice and large so it has a good area to search um, when we know the motion is going this way as we can see, what we can do is we can kind of bias it a little bit. Whoops. We can just kind of grab, you can kind of go like this. So that way we know it's, if it's a fast motion, um, sometimes you want to maybe lean heavier on the direction the camera's going. So that way, uh, or the opposite, I guess. So that way it grabs that area. So we can kind of, you can kind of play with this and do whatever, whichever area you'd like to do. I'm going to grab this whole track. I'm just gonna grab the whole tracking marker. Let's see here, something like that. And then I'm gonna add a null now. I'm just gonna grab new. Null, hit good, and then go to edit target, double check. We know it should be okay because it always grabs the one right above it. It's good to go, transfer, transfer, everything looks good. And I am going to track forward. Actually, I'm gonna zoom out real quick so we can watch the track. All right, I think I like everything. Yeah, as soon as it hits this, we're gonna have some issues. So let's figure that out. Tracking, 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 and horrible. Okay, so what we can do is, as we can see, when it goes off, the track fails. It just stopped. Um, sometimes they'll keep tracking, go all over the place, but it just stops right here. And for the most part, I would say it looks pretty good for what we have. So what we can do, oh, I got rid of my null somehow. Let's grab that null. Did something funky. All right, there we go. Uh, make sure to double check, edit target, okay. So I'm just gonna actually apply that. And so now we have that information. Did it apply it? Not. Okay. And now null is always, the tracking information always goes to the top left. And we can see It's looking pretty good. All right. So as you know, we don't have any information for the last few, those last few frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this um, expression. And the expression actually needs some good frames behind it. So we're going to go, let's see here. I'm going to go like right here just to make sure that these frames are really solid. I don't want to go right to the end because see how the next one's off. I'm not really sure which one, you know, just to make sure I want to go a couple back. That way I know these are some good frames right here. I'm going to delete all these because we don't need them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to under my null. I'm going to hit option and click the stopwatch and that's going to bring up our expression. Now the expression I'm going to do is called, if I can remember right, loop capital O out parentheses let's see here quotations and continuous no I think it's just continue I'm sorry and then I'm just gonna click outside our null is still there as we can see but let's see what happens if I did this correct let's watch this it's hard to see I know uh, let me see if I can get a good spot because I want to I want to watch this edge as well but you can kind of see the outline there so I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and that's right, it doesn't play, so I'm just going to drag the head because I forget it doesn't show you the null. And as you can see, it just keeps going. So basically what it's doing is it's grabbing these, averaging them, and just kind of continuing it on forward. It's just saying, it's just kind of seeing where these are going, and that's why it's called continue. continue. It's basically like, you know what, where you're going, just keep going on that path. And now we should have a perfect track all the way through with your paint. We're not gonna see um, keyframes because there aren't any because it's using 
the expression to drive the null after this. And that should help you with both these tracking markers here. So hopefully that's a neat trick that you guys can use. Um, if you look up loop out and loop uh, expressions, basically loop after effects expressions, there's a few different ones. Um, but this is the one that I seem to use the most. And hopefully you're uh, doing a great job in painting and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Again, it's this, this is all about patience. Tracking is also, um, it's all about trial and error. Sometimes you gotta just track it, it doesn't work, delete the track, start over, track it again, maybe make the search area smaller, bigger. Um, it's just, you gotta keep doing it over and over and over until you get the right track. I guarantee you everything that I listed that to paint out can be done. I've done it, students done it, so it can be done. Um, and I can't wait to see your guys' results. All right. Hope you're having a great week as always. And if you have any questions, please message me.